Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm going to show you how to remove a steering ball and the Renault Clear. First what we need to do is remove the battery, terminal, Next step is to remove the airbag. As you can see, I've got the steering wheel that I'm going to be fitted onto this one. I'm going to show you. As you can see on the back of this steering wheel, it's got two holes, one there. And as you can see, there's one on that side. And literally, just get like a screwdriver or something that fits in that hole. And you literally just need to push it and release the clips to remove the airbag, for the airbag to come out. And then just disconnect all the wires. And then you just need to remove the center nut. We're going to go to the next stage now. Now we're going to remove the airbag. As you can see, I've made my own screwdriver to literally remove it. This one is quite tricky to come off, but it's now off. As you can see, as you can see, these got released those clips that slots into there. Literally, you've got to push it away. So, literally, when you push the screwdriver, what it does is it pushes this. I don't know if you can see it from this video, but let me just disconnect the airbag and then I'll demonstrate. Okay, now the airbag is disconnected. As you can see, this is the spring. So literally when you push the screwdriver in, what it does is it comes through. So it's got some holes around here on the back. And I'll just show you on this steering wheel. As you can see, those are the holes there. And literally the screwdriver comes through it. What it does is, it pushes this spring, as you can see, to release it from, locking into these um sort of like locking pins they're not even a pin it just looks like a claw sort of thing so literally when you put the airbag back in what it does is it slots back in holes in place now i'm just going to disconnect the clock spring plug as you can see you can see these are little slot there literally you just got to push that down and literally and then we'll just release just pop that out just make sure that you keep the clock spring in the right position when removing the steering wheel you can see we're going to use a t50 star torque to remove that bolt that holds the steering wheel together and when refitting the steering wheel, if you've got a new bolt, change it. If you don't, just put some Loctite on it. As you can see on the steering itself, you can see there's a cutout. And also in the steering wheel, there is a cutout as well. So just make sure you line up those two when you put in the steering back on. And as I said, the clock spring that's situated just in there. Just make sure that doesn't spin around. Just make sure you put it back exactly how you took it off. Now I'm just going to remove the steering wheel. As you can see the nuts out and you can see all the Loctite around the area where the nut was fitted. Just also show you what the nut looks like as you can see. That's just Loctite on, on the nut itself. You might, also, you might also need someone to help you to literally um, hold the clock spring so it doesn't turn. And also to just maneuver these um, plugs out of the way because it's quite tricky to get them all out. You've got to do them individually. As you can see, the plugs are quite thick and the entry to where they come in is quite small. So you have to remove them one by one. And as you can see, that mark is lined up with the steering wheel itself. Now we're literally just going to literally put some Loctite on that screw and we're literally just going to torque that screw and then literally plug in all the plugs and refit the hair back, connect the battery, start the engine, and just 
make sure everything's all okay and there's no lights on. Now we're just going to connect the battery and start the engine. Now the battery is connected, so we're going to literally just start the vehicle. So just press the stop start button, put your foot on the brake, and see if everything's all okay. Yep, everything seems to work. Just the handbrake lights on, as you can see. Handbrake down, lights off, and we're back on. It's all okay. Wiper blades are moving. I think it's because I pressed the wiper stalk. Yep. And steering wheel seems to be okay. Um, let's check if the horn works. That's always important. Yep. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Gab Official. Please like and subscribe for further content. Thank you for watching. And please share.